Welcome to the PBSO Annual Volunteer Awards Ceremony, recognizing those who have committed their time and talents to the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Volunteer Unit during the past year. Please rise for the rendering of honors by the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Honor Guard, Pipes and Drums, Volunteer Honor Guard, and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, the National Anthem, and the Invocations. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The national anthem will now be performed by Emily E. C. Kirshner of the Dreyfus School of the Arts.
invocation will be presented by PBSO Chaplain Rabbi Alan Cohen and PBSO Chaplain Dr. Norman Benz. In the book of Exodus, Jethro, the father-in-law of Moses and priest of Midian, instructs Moses in lessons of delegation of responsibility. Out of these words come in part the instructions seen in this week's series of Torah or scriptural readings where we learn of the duties of the Levites. They were an integral part of the governance both in the wilderness with the tabernacle and later in the temple built by Solomon in Jerusalem. Their roles came in part from those earlier instructions of Jethro to Moses. Their duties and similar descriptions are central to the book of Leviticus, which is the source of the current scripture readings of Judaism. Every society requires stru structure to function. This biblical portion is certainly a precedent and a model for today as to how to establish that structure and order. In every organized community, we are dependent upon the professionals well represented by the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office and the volunteer auxiliaries such as COP and the many other volunteer groups who are recognized today that serve our communities. Today, is our, it is our privilege to honor and thank these volunteers. In those earlier instructions of Jethro, qualities of those who serve and assist in life's tasks should include being imbued with wisdom, spirit of service, strength of character, and the ability to protect, observe, and serve. This certainly defines our professionals and most assuredly our volunteers. We thank you for possessing these qualities as you step forward to do your duty and fulfill your responsibilities. And we ask God's continuing guidance and blessings to give you strength for the future. May we never take for granted this service and may we always be remember to offer our thanks and blessings to those who serve so selflessly in these ways. Amen, amen, amen. From scripture we realize that the grace of God is one of the great spiritual components of scripture and of our spirituality. I want to say to you today that from the word grouping around grace comes the word generosity. And one of the greatest displays of generosity is volunteerism. So today, I give thanks to God for the volunteers of the Palm Beach Sheriff's Office. And I want to also say today that God, would you bless us in this great gathering? And would there be a greater outflow now of the grace of God on all the ages represented today as they are volunteers and as they are the expression of your generosity to the Palm Beaches I give you thanks, God, and I bless you today. And God, would you bless now all of our volunteers, those present today, and those who are not able to be present, and we give you all the honor, all the glory, and all the praise. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I'm Captain Michael Kirshner of your Community Services Division. Early this morning, my better half, Linda, asked how my speech was going. I looked at her and she said, just remember Caesar. I said, Caesar? She said, yes, the people loved Caesar. Caesar gave long speeches. They killed Caesar. <laughs> I said, I got it. It is an absolute privilege 
and an honor to be standing in front of you today as your host for this year's annual volunteer award ceremony. Today's ceremony will honor our volunteers from both the departments of corrections and law enforcement. We'd like to extend a special thank you to the graphics unit, media relations, special events division, visual services unit, as well as all the employees and volunteers who work so tirelessly to make this event the best one ever. I'd also like to mention that we had members of the Atlantic Community High School Jazz Band Combo playing in our auditorium lobby for you as you checked in today. Let's give a round of applause for their great work and renditions. 2017 was a glorious and extraordinary year for our volunteers. The work you do each and every day, the contributions you have measurably strengthened our communities, reduced crime, and improved the quality of life in our neighborhoods. A phenomenal performance, and I say a job well done. <laughs> Sheriff Bradshaw's support of our volunteers is absolutely unwavering. He understands the value of your life experience, special skills, but most importantly, your time. Without further ado, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you the greatest supporter of our volunteers, our Sheriff, the Honorable Rick Bradshaw. Good morning, folks. Really? That's the best? Good morning, folks. Good morning. There you go. You are there. We have uh, several people here I want to recognize from the, the various cities uh, that have taken their valuable time to come here and recognize our volunteers. So I want to make sure that we are aware they're here. Uh, if you want to stand up and be recognized when I call your name, please do so. Uh, we have uh, Mayor O'Rourke from the town of Lake Park. The uh, town manager, John Diagostino from Lake Park. Mayor Joe Kyles, City of South Bay. The city manager, Leandre Camel from South Bay. The deputy city manager from Belle Glade, Beverly Scott. Mayor Fred Pinto from Village of Royal Palm Beach. The manager from the Village of Royal Palm Beach, Ray Liggins. Mayor Ann Gerwick from the Village of Wellington. We have also some county commissioners here that never fail to support us. Commissioner Kerner, District 3, is here. Dave. Commissioner Mary Lou Berger is here. Commissioner Valache. Commissioner Burdick. And uh, did I mention Commissioner Balachet yet? Oh, oh, you got it twice. All right. <laughs> we also have uh, one of our most important partners in fighting crime out here because it doesn't do us any good to grab them if they don't keep them in jail, and that's our state attorney, David Ehrenberg. Hey, David. <laughs> so here we are again after another year. It just seems like it was yesterday. Times go by fast, especially when you're getting older, without a doubt. You know, with an organization this size, there's no way that we can do what we do without the volunteers that we have. You're going to see a check presentation up here in a while, but it's always in the hundreds of thousands of dollars that you save us in things that is just impossible to do because we don't have the time. I think we handled or answered pretty close to 1.2 million calls for service last year. And that's not including what we're doing now with the, with the president coming and all the other things that we have on our plate. So without the volunteers doing what they do, and not just in the districts, not just into the, the various cities, but in the jail with the re rehabilitation programs, the chaplains that you saw here, and it goes on and on and on. Um, 
to say thank you, it, it's not enough. Because the deputies will tell you, my executive staff will tell you, the volunteers, they're priceless. You can't put a price on it. Especially when you're spending your own personal time. You don't have to do that. You're certainly not making any money doing it. But it's a service not only to your community, but to this agency that we, we don't ever forget. I don't think we say thank you enough. I try to, you know, see the various volunteers in the hallway and say thank you. But it's, it's just a tremendous, tremendous effort. And it gets bigger every year, which is amazing to me. We get more and more people because it's the word of mouth. I spoke to a Rotary Club yesterday. There was two volunteers there, and they were recruiting people in the organization. And the other people that were there saying, you know what, I didn't know that I could really get that involved. But they can. And I think once the word gets out how involved you can be and the difference that you can make is incredible. When I was walking in, somebody stopped me. In fact, two or three people stopped me. They said, are you going to run again in 2020? And I said, absolutely. How can I not be involved in an organization like this with the number of people? It's going to happen. So today we're going to we're, we're going to get a check presentation that's coming up and then we're going to honor the people that are here and then we're going to have a little bit to eat. But I will personally shake as many hands and talk to as many people as I can to say thank you very much. And hopefully during the year when the rest of our people are in the hallways or wherever they're at, we'll stop and say thank you because we can't say it enough. And here's Commissioner Abrams, fashionably late. <laughs> All right, so have you got the check? Come on up. Introduce yourself. My name is Eric Fanot. I am the volunteer colonel for the great organization of the COPs in the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office. One of the proudest moments at uh, this banquet for me is to present this check on behalf of the volunteers to Sheriff Rick L. Bradshaw and the taxpayers of Palm Beach County. This check represents the hours and amount of value added services provided to the agency by you, the volunteers. I proudly present this check in the amount of seven million nine hundred sixty-four thousand one hundred ninety-one thousand and twenty-seven cents. <laughs> this check. This check represents an amazing three hundred and twenty-nine thousand four hundred and seventy-six hours of time and talent donated by your outstanding volunteer corps that we have here. I salute you and thank you for all you're doing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, I think next is Commissioner Kerner with a proclamation. And thank you, Colonel, very much. Thank you, Sheriff. Can I have the Colonel join me on stage, if you don't mind, sir? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm Dave Kerner, County Commissioner for District 3 here in Palm Beach County. And I'm here today on behalf of my colleagues of the Board of County Commissioners. I want to take a moment to thank them for having me present this proclamation in Mayor Melissa McKinley's place, who can't join us today. I uh, just wanted to take a quick moment to introduce uh, a dear friend and special guest of mine, Ashley Moody, if you don't mind standing, please. Ashley is a former federal prosecutor and uh, also a former circuit court judge, and it's important to recognize, as the sheriff already did, not just the law enforcement officers that work so diligently uh, to, to keep the people in jail that need to be there, uh, but also the prosecutors that are there on the front lines with them as well. So Ashley, thank you for joining us here today.
I'm honored to present on behalf of the Board of County Commissioners a proclamation that was previously presented uh, to by the Board of County Commissioners to uh, the sheriff and, and his senior staff. And I'm going to move this proclamation that's already been delivered to the colonel. Where is it? Oh, wow. There we go. Thank you, Captain. Colonel, this is a proclamation of the Board of County Commissioners of Palm Beach County, Florida, declaring April 18th, 2018 as Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Volunteer Day. Whereas the entire community can inspire, equip, and mobilize people to take action that changes the world. And whereas the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office volunteers can connect with the local community, be in the eyes and ears on our county roadways, and whereas the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office volunteers assist in many division and district stations, thereby freeing up law enforcement personnel to better perform their vital duties, protecting the citizens of Palm Beach County. And whereas the Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office volunteer unit contributed 329,476 hours of volunteer time in 2017, which equates to approximately 7.9 million of value added service. And whereas April 15th, to April 22nd, 2018 is National Volunteer Week and volunteers are vital to our future as a caring and productive nation. Now therefore be it proclaimed by the Board of County Commissioners of Palm Beach County, Florida, assembled in regular session this 10th day of April 2018, that April 18th, 2018 in Palm Beach County is hereby proclaimed Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office Volunteer Day. Colonel, thank you. And if I could just take one more moment to say, as a county commissioner, uh, what, what pride I take in being able to work directly with a sheriff that uh, I've never seen a sheriff stand stronger for his men and women in uniform. Uh, but in addition to that, the service that you as volunteers provide to this community can be equated to numerical value or number of hours served. But more important than that to me is the pride and, and respect that you show for the institution of law enforcement itself. And when you put on that uniform and you participate in protecting your community with the sworn deputy sheriffs and corrections officers, you're not just serving the community, you're letting the men and women in our communities and neighbors know how you feel about our law enforcement officers. And to me, that is priceless. So thank you for what you do. Thank you, sir. And now our award ceremony shall begin. We begin our ceremony by awarding the top five volunteers with the most hours of committed service for 2017. Will the following recipients please come forward? Volunteer Commander Norman Jeweler, 3,383 hours. Volunteer Major Stuart Landau, 2,665 hours. Volunteer Lieutenant Sandra Lanier, 2,600 hours. Volunteer Captain Richard Pelletier, 1,987 hours, and Volunteer Major Edward Kochman, 1,975 hours. It is with great gratitude we recognize these volunteers for the extraordinary time they devote to the Volunteer Services Unit. Congratulations. The Volunteer Colonel Ned Reynolds Award for Excellence. This medal is awarded to a Citizen Observer Patrol volunteer whose meritorious service, exceptional leadership qualities, and unparalleled dedication exemplifies the highest level of achievement. The award goes to Volunteer Major William Parks. The word excellent is indeed appropriate when describing Major Parks' contributions which have had a profound impact on a wide range of programs and the 11 units he commands. Parks has been responsible for reviewing, editing, and rewriting the Marine Unit Operations Manual, working with the Volunteer Media Unit to produce numerous training videos, and developing the highly successful tabletop training device for use in traffic scene management. Major Parks is known for coming up with sincere and guiding inspirational phrases, including, respect is the key to success whenever working with people, as well as, my philosophy is that no one cares how much you know until they know how much you care. For displaying that respect and caring to the many people under his command and for his tireless service, Volunteer Major Bill Parks is the recipient of the Ned Reynolds Award for Excellence. Congratulations.
the Volunteer Lou Schiff Award for Excellence. This medal is given to an administrative volunteer whose meritorious service, exceptional leadership qualities, and unparalleled dedication exemplifies the highest level of achievement. The award goes to Volunteer Franklin Benson. Prior to moving to Florida over 25 years ago, Franklin served as the police commissioner in Woodsburg, New York, and was a founding member of the Florida Fraternal Order of Police Lodge 3100. Last year, Volunteer Benson donated over 340 hours by serving in the District 7 Detective Squad. He has become proficient in the Detective Management System, Rapid Pawn Database, and Offensive Query System. When he meets with victims of crimes, Benson has the ability to establish a rapport with them, showing he truly cares. Volunteer Benson's efforts during several investigations have resulted in arrests. For his amazing commitment and desire to help PBSO and the citizens of Palm Beach County, Volunteer Franklin Benson is awarded the Volunteer Lou Schiff Award for Excellence. Congratulations. The Volunteer Major Bob Faden Award for Excellence. This medal is awarded to a volunteer for exceptionally meritorious performance and service. It recognizes significant contributions which improve or advance the mission of the Volunteer Services Unit. The award goes to Volunteer Major Joseph Lipsky. Since starting as a volunteer in 2009, Lipsky has logged more than 5,700 hours of service, 1,630 last year alone. In addition to serving as a field training officer and a member of the Auxiliary Volunteer Emergency Response Team, Major Lipsky's responsibilities include the supervision of eight separate volunteer units, including the Vital and Productive Parking Enforcement Unit. Volunteer leaders serving under his command all laud Lipsky for his devotion to service, citing his round-the-clock availability when called. The real scope of Major Lipsky's service can be measured in the sense of unity he achieves among his volunteers, of whom he says, I am here to support their needs and will assist in any way I am able to make their job easier and to do what is best to protect their community. For that, Volunteer Major Joseph Lipsky is the recipient of the Major Bob Faden Award for Excellence. Congratulations! <laughs> Volunteer Award for Excellence, Department of Corrections. This award is presented to a volunteer who made exceptional contributions in the delivery of quality education, counseling, rehabilitative programming, religious services, and transition re-entry support to inmate detainee populations. There are six recipients in this category. The first, Volunteer Anthony Hoskins. As a re-entry peer mentor for the Lord's Place, Hoskins spends most of his days working with men and women who have been released from prison. Last April, Hoskins began volunteering with PBSO under the Inmate Program section. Hoskins facilitates a group mentoring program designed to help incarcerated juveniles regain focus and galvanize positive change. He motivates by sharing his former experience with incarceration as a juvenile and how he overcame barriers in his life. In addition to spending time with the younger population, Hoskins encourages those who are struggling with addiction by serving as a guest speaker for the Another Way program. Hoskins truly demonstrates the positive characteristics and high quality of service this award represents. His passion and dedication to his work and the community he serves is beyond words, but certainly deserving of the Volunteer Award for Excellence. Congratulations! The next award goes to Volunteer Christopher Woody. Woody has been serving in Palm Beach County jails for over 25 years, bringing strength and hope to those in the Sheriff's Drug Farm Program. When the Another Way Drug Education Program began in 2011, Chris coordinated meetings every other Wednesday evening and continues to do so to this day. Woody has also been instrumental in ensuring children of program participants receive toys for Christmas, personally donating and presenting them to the kids for the past five years. Woody exemplifies the tough parent many of the individuals suffering from addiction have never known. His consistency creates strength in the participants week after week, year after year, and gives inmates the hope that they too can be free of the challenges arising from drug and alcohol addiction. 
For his unwavering efforts, Chris Woody receives the Volunteer Award for Excellence. Congratulations. The next recipient is volunteer Bonnie Williams. Williams has displayed exemplary devotion to the volunteer program. Her services to inmates began over 21 years ago, and throughout that time, her upbeat spirit and welcoming smile has been irreplaceable. Bonnie dedicates over three hours every week reaching out to up to 100 inmates in efforts to enlighten and revitalize their spiritual journey. Despite various transportation challenges due to a medical condition and the loss of a loved one, Bonnie has remained committed to her duties and always finds a way to report for service. Her tenacious perseverance and spiritual strength is phenomenal and serves as an example to inmates and staff. By truly demonstrating the dedication embodied by this honor, we recognize Bonnie Williams as the recipient of the Corrections Volunteer Award for Excellence. Congratulations. The next award goes to retired judge Mary Lupo. For decades, the PBSO Department of Corrections has offered drug education and or treatment to confined residents. In 1991, the drug farm opened with 10 male residents housed in a trailer located in Belle Glade. The same year, Circuit Judge Mary Lupo was assigned to the criminal division. Within a few months, the program expanded to nearly 125 residents most of them from Judge Lupo's courtroom. The programs have changed over the years, but Judge Lupo hasn't. For each of the 27 years since 1991, on five holidays each year, Judge Lupo visits with male and female program participants, brings inspirational materials, and her tough love message. Therapists and staff welcome her support. The genuine care and concern the Honorable Judge Lupo has shown through her consistent commitment and dedication to the program inmates and citizens clearly shows her deserving of the Volunteer Award for Excellence. Congratulations! The next award goes to Redemptive Life Fellowship. Located in West Palm Beach, Redemptive Life Fellowship is under the divine leadership of Bishop Harold Ray and Pastor Brenda Ray. The leaders and church members have dedicated 26 years of service to adult and juvenile inmates by hosting an annual holiday praise and worship program. The program is spiritually uplifting and provides the inmates with a feeling of joy during the holiday season, which can be difficult for those incarcerated. Among the helpful quotes they share with inmates, everything about you was created to be excellent. Excellence is not just what you do, excellence is who you are. We therefore present Redemptive Life Fellowship with the Volunteer Award of Excellence. Congratulations. The final recipient in this category is Pastor Henry Hines. Pastor Hines has been with religious services for over 20 years and continues to demonstrate outstanding volunteer service. He goes above and beyond in every aspect of providing counseling and support to inmates at the jail. As a religious service volunteer, Pastor Hines spends time working with both male and female inmates, conducting Bible study, non-denominational church services, and whatever other capacity he can serve in. Pastor Hines motivates the inmates to always keep striving and to never give up. Pastor Hines is truly one of a kind, exhibiting high standards in all aspects of life and to everything this award represents. His commitment and dedication to every inmate goes to the moon and back, making him well deserving of the Volunteer Award for Excellence. Congratulations. <laughs> volunteer Units of the Year The Volunteer Unit of the Year is awarded to units who displayed such outstanding devotion and superior performance as to set the unit apart from and above other units with similar missions. The first award in this category goes to the Volunteer Administrative Unit of the Year, Child ID. Led by Major Nancy Dicker, the Child ID Unit and its distinguished members provide valuable services for the benefit of area children and their families. 
The unit serves a critical role by assisting PBSO's dedicated efforts in protecting area children. Last year, the Child ID Unit served more than 3,400 hours in furtherance of this vital cause. Among its accolades are participation in numerous county events, including a significant presence at the South Florida Fair, where more than 40 volunteers each worked 12 11-hour days, completing over 2,000 Child ID kits, with an additional 4,000 distributed throughout the year. For continually serving professionally and enthusiastically, we are honored to recognize the Volunteer Child ID Unit as the Volunteer Administrative Unit of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> COP Community Unit of the Year, Valencia Shores, Unit 81. In just four short years, this unit has grown to a record-breaking 47 members with potentially five more undergoing training. Under the distinctive leadership of Volunteer Captain Martin Rose, members have served nearly 8,500 patrol hours and driven 29,000 combined miles last year. Valencia Shores has received a remarkable 75 commendations and awards over the years. Captain Rose credits that success to caring about each member, and as a result, they all give back willingly. Valencia Shores members attend unit meetings a remarkable 90% of the time, likely to the welcoming atmosphere and support of their community. This helps to make Valencia Shores Unit 81 the Volunteer Community Unit of the Year. Congratulations. COP Rover Unit of the Year, South Rover, Unit 105. Under the seasoned leadership of Volunteer Captain Leonard Kirker, this dedicated 21-member volunteer unit has performed remarkably by contributing over 37,000 hours of service and driving nearly 28,000 miles of Boca Raton roadways. With 13 new members added in the past year, the unit runs like a well-oiled machine and accomplishes their mission objectives in commendable fashion. South Rover Unit has patrolled 12 separate county parks within its jurisdiction and has cleared Boca Raton's roadways and communities of nearly 2,500 snipe signs. In the words of their volunteer major, Sandy Brodsky, these exceptional volunteers do in fact help keep our roads safe. This makes Unit 105 South Rover as the more than deserving recipient of the Rover Unit of the Year. Congratulations. COP Specialty Unit of the Year, Bicycle Unit 13. Led by Volunteer Captain Paul Hirsch, the 96 members of the Bikers contributed more than 18,000 hours last year, 1,726 of which were park patrols, which are important and appreciated during busy weekends and holidays. Each unit member must pass a rigorous certification exam, and many serve 50 to 60 hours weekly, well beyond the minimum 12-hour requirement. The Volunteer Bicycle Unit is highly visible at Palm Beach County community events, parks, and beaches by regularly conducting bicycle rodeos and safety fairs at these venues. Twenty-five of the unit's members are state certified and as such ensured the proper fitting of some 600 bicycle helmets distributed to children and adults this year alone. The Volunteer Bicycle Unit is indeed worthy of recognition and deserving of the Specialty Unit of the Year Award. Congratulations. Unit Commendations A unit commendation is awarded to a unit whose combined members performed outstanding community services of a sustained, direct, and consequential nature that produced tangible results. The first of seven awards in this category goes to Volunteer Field Training Officer Unit 56. Under the leadership of Volunteer Captain Richard Pelletier, FTO Unit 56 successfully trained 204 new volunteers last year, nearly all in less than 30 days. The training curriculum included radio training, driving safety instruction, vehicle maintenance procedures, and field operations involving proper driving techniques and radio usage. The unit is also called upon for all new hire training, monthly training, and ensures strict compliance with agency vehicle operation standards. The FTO unit provides specialized training through the Smart Cop program, 
The dedicated members of this unit make themselves available seven days a week, including holidays, to ensure training dates are available for all. For their dedication and excellent service, Field Training Officers Unit 56 is awarded a unit commendation. Congratulations. The next award goes to Volunteer Marine Unit 29. This unit logged over 9,000 hours last year supporting the boating community and the PBSO Marine Enforcement Unit. Patrolling the intercoastal waterway from Boca Raton to Jupiter, they completed 396 boat patrols, helped keep Peanut Island safe during major holidays and events, initiated patrols on Lake Osborne, and completed extensive training in safe boating practices and life-saving techniques. Seven of the highly skilled volunteers hold USCG captain's licenses and have logged hundreds of hours through their service to the citizens of Palm Beach County. For demonstrating dedication, skill, and exemplary service while keeping Palm Beach County waterways safe and enjoyable, the Volunteer Marine Unit is awarded a unit commendation. Congratulations! The next award goes to Volunteer Information Technology Unit 66. Under the leadership of Volunteer Major Larry Clements, IT members work hard each day to ensure all volunteers stay connected and well informed. The unit answers approximately 50 calls weekly for IT support. Members train new volunteers to use both the Smart Cop and Star Cop programs and the PBSO Volunteer Management Information Service Program. The unit is constantly making updates, changes, and improvements to these programs and makes record keeping easy and meaningful. All volunteers can schedule citizen observer patrol car assignments and patrols, access required forms used daily, send invitations and receive responses to events, and send critical messages at a moment's notice. For helping raise volunteer services to new levels of excellence, Unit 66 IT is awarded a unit commendation. Congratulations. The next commendation goes to Volunteer Vehicle Maintenance Unit 83. The Vehicle Maintenance Unit assists the Volunteer Services Unit, known as VSU, by ensuring all 150 fleet vehicles are properly maintained and cared for. Last year, the unit made great strides with the introduction of a vehicle inventory system, providing the ability to track maintenance issues for the fleet and ensure all cars are serviced in accordance of their scheduled maintenance dates. This innovative system was engineered to send reminders when a vehicle is 30 days out from its required service date. Unit members inspect each vehicle prior to checkout and upon return, guaranteeing operational readiness for future assignments. All members receive extensive training to ensure that vehicle safety and emergency equipment meets rigorous operational and accreditation standards. For their exemplary service and achievements, Volunteer Vehicle Maintenance Unit 83 receives a unit commendation. Congratulations! <laughs> Bellagio COP Unit 98 This flagship volunteer unit of 55 members works closely with their homeowners association to ensure every new resident is aware of the service provided, its importance to the community, and the opportunities to join and serve. After three straight record-setting years, the unit was challenged to do even more last year. Unit 98 responded with a resounding level of success. Setting a goal to patrol every day, including holidays, they came through by logging 5,481 service hours while racking up 50,514 patrol miles. Their contribution to the annual back-to-school program and the holiday toy drive consistently puts the unit in the top performers category. Through great organization, leadership, and performance, COP Unit 98 Bellagio has earned its unit commendation. Congratulations! The next commendation goes to Volunteer Parking Enforcement Specialist Unit 93. This unit provides essential aid by helping ensure handicapped spaces are available for disabled citizens and fire lanes remain clear for emergency vehicles. Unit members are highly trained to seek out prescribed violations and to interact safely and politely with citizens. 
When occasionally faced with stressful situations dealing with the public, the members do an exceptional job of maintaining a professional and respectful demeanor. During the past year, the unit has put in over 8,300 hours and driven more than 77,000 miles while making 4,031 park visits and issuing more than 11,800 written and verbal warnings. Parking Enforcement Unit 93 members set a high standard for what volunteer unit members should embody and are well deserving of a unit commendation. Congratulations! The final award in this category goes to Volunteer Special Events Unit. Under the leadership of Volunteer Captain Terry Marola, the 65 members of the Special Events Unit are the go-to group when assistance is needed at PBSO events. You'll find this unit hard at work at the annual Shop with a Cop, the Night Out Against Crime, Take Your Child to Work Day, Animal Kindness, and bi-monthly awards events. These dedicated members work behind the scenes stuffing backpacks with school supplies and assisting the PBSO Special Events Unit on a moment's notice. Unit members are always ready to serve and are adept at helping stage the scene for various large public events. While not always visible to the public eye, they can be found working hard in almost any type of environment and weather. It makes us proud to shine the spotlight on Special Events Unit 21 for a unit commendation. Congratulations! This award is presented to a volunteer whose extraordinary service significantly contributed to the successful delivery of essential programs, resources, and support. And the winner is Volunteer James Cotton. Congratulations! <laughs> volunteer Captain of the Year for 2017. This medal is awarded to a volunteer captain who has made significant contributions, provided outstanding leadership and inspiration, and dedicated a significant amount of time to become a distinct asset. The Administrative Volunteer Captain of the Year, Captain Richard Titone. Ten years ago, Captain Titone and his wife became residents of Valencia Point, where he joined Unit 56 and was quickly promoted to Unit Sergeant. He also joined Unit 69, the Volunteer Outreach Team, and was subsequently promoted to Captain of the Unit, where he quickly excelled and once again proved his worth. When the unit needed to relocate offices twice, Titone was instrumental in making the transition seamless and efficient without missing a single call session or report. During the same time, Captain Titone was able to donate 552 hours of service and was awarded the prestigious Above and Beyond the Call of Duty pin. To add to his honors, Captain Rick Titone is now the recipient of the Administrative Captain of the Year Award. Congratulations! <laughs> Citizen Observer Patrol Captain of the Year, Chester McCarthy. After moving to Florida six years ago, McCarthy joined COP Unit 25 Buena Vida and the Volunteer Emergency Response Team known as VERT, eventually becoming its captain. During the past three years, McCarthy has averaged 815 hours of service annually, receiving 14 commendations. Among his most notable contributions, his role in the production of a video explaining the vital public protection role the 24-7 VERT team plays. During December of last year, the VERT team performed 13 call-outs in addition to the 1,500 plus hours of service they donated throughout the year. McCarthy's selfless and dedicated leadership is epitomized by the statement, a leader never asks his troops to do what he would not do himself. Let's honor Volunteer Captain Chet McCarthy as the COP Volunteer Captain of the Year. Congratulations. <laughs> volunteer Major of the Year. This medal is awarded to a volunteer major for exemplary leadership and commitment to excellence and whose performance directly and immeasurably contributed to the collective achievements of the units under his or her responsibility. This year's winner, Volunteer Major Edward Kochman. During his seven years as a volunteer, Kochman has averaged 2,200 hours of service annually, consistently demonstrating exemplary leadership skills. Major Kochman continually monitors each of the eight units he supervises 
to ensure recruitment, administrative duties, and mission goals are achieved. He has demonstrated significant aptitude in new volunteer recruitment and the retention of longtime volunteers. Kochman is very effective when dealing with missions for the Crime Prevention Unit, where he initially dedicated his efforts with the Business Partnership Program. By regularly performing patrol duties himself, Kochman's dedication and work ethic are evident and an inspiration to all. For distinguishing himself through his can-do attitude, no matter how challenging the task, we honor Volunteer Major Ed Kochman as the Volunteer Major of the Year. Congratulations. The award for exemplary law enforcement support to the Volunteer Services Unit goes to Lieutenant Dieter Joseph, District 7, and Detective David Mason, Civil Process. Over the last four years, Joseph and Mason have selflessly devoted countless hours to rehearse and train the Volunteer Honor Guard for the presentation of colors. The Volunteer Honor Guard served with distinction at the annual Crossing Guard Luncheon, Volunteer Annual Awards Luncheon, and numerous other venues. Lieutenant Joseph and Detective Mason have helped integrate new members, most of whom had no prior experience in the military or law enforcement. Joseph has been a champion of the unit by encouraging sworn law enforcement participation and allowing the volunteers to shine at the annual volunteer luncheon by leading the sworn honor guard into the venue. Both Lieutenant Joseph and Detective Mason have contributed immensely to the professionalism and sense of pride that is the hallmark of the Volunteer Honor Guard. We are proud to present the Law Enforcement Exemplary Support to the Volunteer Program Award to Lieutenant Dieter Joseph and Detective David Mason. Congratulations! A debt of gratitude goes to our community partner, Applebee's Restaurants, for their support and wonderful food provided for our Back to School and our Toys for Kids events in 2017. <laughs> volunteer of the Year, Department of Corrections. This award is presented to a volunteer who distinguished himself or herself by establishing a demonstrable pattern of excellence, achievement, and superior service representing the highest ideals of volunteer service. The winner is volunteer James Cotton. As a PBSO volunteer for the past 12 years, Cotton's dedication to the religious program goes beyond what is required of a volunteer. When the religious department was experiencing staff shortages, he took the initiative to stand in whenever needed. On a weekly basis, Cotton performs Bible and book deliveries, one-on-one -on -one counseling with inmates, death notifications, and conducts Bible study and church services. In the absence of a chaplain, he serves as an alternate chaplain to handle any death notifications or any religious needs after normal business hours. Cotton has also been very instrumental in recruiting new volunteers who share the same dedication in assisting inmates and serves as an active member of the PBSO Ministry Board. For his unfailing devotion, Volunteer James E. Cotton is the Corrections Volunteer of the Year. Congratulations! <laughs> Volunteer of the Year, Department of Law Enforcement. This medal is awarded to a volunteer who distinguished himself or herself by establishing a demonstrable pattern of excellence, achievement, and superior service, representing the highest ideals of volunteer service. Volunteer Captain Alan Sitnik. Sitnik began his service in 2008 with the Volunteer Marine Unit and quickly rose through the ranks to become its captain. During his 10 years of service, he has received no less than 10 commendations, averaging 824 volunteer hours during each of the past two years. Under his leadership, the 41-member unit grew from one to four vessels and was responsible for nearly 10,000 hours of service, completing more than 400 patrols and reporting 20 serious incidents from assisting disabled vessels to responding to boating accidents. When out patrolling the intercoastal waterways, Captain Sitnik attends numerous special events such as the annual night out against crime with the sheriff and the South Florida Fair. With a decade of dedicated service behind him, we honor Volunteer Captain Alan Sitnik as the Volunteer of the Year. Congratulations!
And finally, the Sheriff's Volunteer Special Commendation Award. This commendation is awarded to a volunteer unit or member for exceptionally meritorious conduct in the performance of outstanding service that is rendered in a clearly exceptional and extraordinary manner. The unit or member will have displayed outstanding devotion and superior performance as to set the unit or member apart from other units and made a significant contribution to the enhanced effectiveness of the agency. This year's winner, Volunteer Emergency Response Team, VERT. The Volunteer Emergency Response Team has provided a significant contribution, exceptional service, and extraordinary commitment to the citizens of Palm Beach County and PBSO. This exceptional group embodies the essence of teamwork, ready to respond 24-7 to all requests for assistance from PBSO districts or specialty units. For example, 84 call-outs for assistance came from 11 PBSO districts last year. VERT spent 2,654 vehicle hours and drove 24,210 miles meeting mission objectives. VERT members trained for 555 hours to meet performance goals, posted 1,471 patrol hours, and 1,506 hours on various scenes over the year. For embodying the volunteer spirit and delivering much needed services when called upon, the Volunteer Emergency Response Team is awarded the Sheriff's Special Volunteer Commendation Award. Congratulations. The following volunteers have been recognized with a Certificate of Achievement for Praiseworthy Accomplishments Indispensable to the Volunteer Services Unit. Please stand and continue standing as I mention your names. Please hold applause until the end. Volunteer Captain Richard Pelletier. Volunteer Major Stuart Landau. Volunteer Elliot Colchimiro. Las Verdes COP Unit 14. Congratulations for your Certificates of Achievement. Okay, folks, that's the end of the presentations, but you can see that it's a shame we can't give every single person that's in here some type of award for what they do every single day. You just saw the best of the best, but now you can understand why we can't do without you just by listening to some of the extraordinary things that you've done and the lives that you've touched by what you do. So thank you again. Congratulations to all who were recognized. That concludes this year's PBSO Volunteer Services Unit Annual Awards Ceremony.